All right, what are we looking at here today? Well, you got a new Strandberg. I did not get. You a did new not get a new Strandberg. Nope. This is. Uh oh. What's this? This is a Leo James headless guitar kit. Wow. Okay. So what are you saying? You can you can make a three thousand dollar Strandberg out of a kit? Oh, yeah, for a hundred and sixty dollar kit. Yeah. <laughs> or something approaching it anyway. Yep. Appearance wise, anyway, if you do a good job finishing. Yeah. Appearance wise, it's it's. It, our discerning viewers might notice that there's a vague similarity between the Leo James body and the Strandberg body. Now, this is mahogany, three-piece mahogany body. Um, it's lightweight, still still heavier than than the, uh, the Strandberg. That Strandberg is just the crazy lightest guitar ever. Um, this has a five-piece mahogany maple neck. It obviously does not have the patented Strandberg ergo neck design. Uh, both of these have ebony fret boards. They're both 24 fret necks with a zero fret on both of them. This is all straight 24 fret, not uh, you know, I'm used to bass fan frets, and you know, to me, that's not even fan fret. All right. Well, it's it's completely not fanned up here, and right. It's so more this neck is not fanned. Yeah. See, we figured it out. Fan fret. Yeah, whatever. Fan fret. For, better term fan for fret. That. <laughs> we're, we're professionals. Don't try this at home. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, the hardware differs largely. The ball end of the strings goes actually at the headstock, or the lack thereof. The, um, and that's, that's interesting. The uh, bridge is substantial. It's, it's quite weighty. Feels like it's made of brass or something heavy. Well, there is, you can see, I mean, you can see the brass and, you know, if it's all just brass that's been painted black, it says licensed by KD. I don't know who that is, but hopefully it's it's serviceable. It has a magnetically attached tuning lever. A tuning tool. Tuning tool. But yeah, that's uh, it's pretty cool, and it's relatively chunky. The uh, Strandberg bridge is entirely different. It's you know it's a tremolo style. It's also Compensated. Strandberg has sewer pickups. This has no name Chinese pickups. No name Chinese pickups. They're heavy. These are these are rather. I mean, they weigh more than the Demarzios and the um, Seymour Duncans, and they're probably four times as heavy as the Did you Chinese say? the Chinese pickups I took out of the Firefly. Oh, when you have SG it. video, yeah, link down below. Um, the Strandberg has very specific knurled black knobs that have a flat surface on them, so you always know where, you know, where you are. These are just knurled, just knurled, and they're they're shorter and rounded. These are kind of flat on top. This is these might be more ergonomic when I run into them with my knuckles because I'm a terrible thrashy guitar player. Um, all of the the pickups and associated hardware is no solder. It's all, it's already been... Plug and play. Plug and play. Now, these are cheap dime pots. Not, not a fan of that. The uh, pickup selector, it feels good and it's positive. Um, it looks, it looks cheap, you know, because it probably is, but it does seem doable. I am probably going to be replacing these pots. Um, these are not four wire pickups, so replacing them with push pulls is questionable. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it all together and get it going with the hardware that it comes with. See what it's like before I start talking about all this this upgradery bullshit. It did come with copper foil. So you can get some noise re reduction in your cavities, some grounding. That's pretty cool. A set of no-name strings, which I'm not going to touch. 
throwaway cable with the uh, prerequisite Trust Allen rod. wrenches and stuff. Yeah. And then you've Freddy got fasteners. your numbered, numbered hardware. Did it come with instructions? No, it didn't. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Actually, it didn't come with. Yeah, there wasn't even a single piece of paper. In Good the thing you're a guitar player, so you can figure this out. Because if a drummer tried to build this without instructions, it would be a disaster. Well, theoretically, <laughs> theoretically, it should have came with a piece of paper with a QR code, and then you look at the QR code uh, and uh, get the instructions. But yeah, this didn't even come with the the QR code. Huh. So this is kind of cool. All it'll right, be fun. It'll now, be fun. It'll be fun. There's uh. There's going to be sanding and finishing work, obviously, that needs to be done. This just might be a bright lemon yellow guitar that I think would look cool. The black, a very, very dark ebony fretboard and a, a lemon yellow body. It's pretty 80s. Mellow body. yellow. Absolutely. But it will be quite interesting to see how a sub $200 kit with uh, countless hours of blood, sweat, and tears into it, is going to compare to a, you know, 20, 20 hundred Indonesian Strandberg. All right. Well, we'll be back with Dana when he gets all this uh, going. Yep. And show you some videos during the process so you can see what agonizing things he goes through. So. It's fascinating. Yeah. It'll be fun. Until next time.